What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We have got another live 7 minute squad builder for you. Now, I'm going to be doing these every single week, just on my own, just one, okay? Probably every Thursday, let's just say every Thursday now. Um, mainly because I like just having a bit of a stripped back version of 7 minute squad builder without a guest. I've, I would absolutely love doing a 7 minute squad builder with other YouTubers, but it's nice to just sometimes relax do it on my own, have a laid back feel to it, and you guys can maybe put it on in the background whilst you're, I don't know, doing work or something. Um, so, I just want it to be really simple, and basically during the game at the end, I'll be answering a load of questions that you guys have hit me up on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, today, anyway, we're going to be using the second in form left wing in uh, Anthony Martial. Um, now, this guy had obviously a first in form as a striker. I hated that card, so I'm hoping this is going to kind of open my eyes and uh, realise that Martial is a good player on FIFA, it's just if you play him in a left wing position. So that's the thinking behind it. He's got 87 pace, 80 shooting, 80 through dribbling, so potentially he should be a really good winger, to be honest. Um, his dribbling, you know, it could be a little bit higher, but it's still a, it's still a decent decent rating. Um, so yeah, you, you guys want to go ahead and pick him up as well. He's about 90k, next couple of days will probably be more 65, 70k. I can't really see him going that much lower than that. Maybe a bit more. Um, depends actually because team of the week, team of the year is coming out and that's going to get a load of these informs as well. So maybe you're looking at like 45, 50k. I don't know. But anyway, if you guys are wanting to stock up on some coins for team of the year, check out buycheapfifacoins.com in the description down below. Use J54 at checkout for 5% off your order. They're automated guys, so you literally get your coins within seconds. Perfect for team of the year. It's as simple as that. So, let's go ahead and um, find ourselves a second player. So, what I'm thinking is I actually have a few of these. Well, I've got a premium loan reward pack, so I could get someone half decent in this pack and use him. No, we ain't using Zeko though. <laughs> I thought, you know, sometimes you do actually get like half decent players in them packs. Um, but yeah, it says today, we're well, apparently today we're not going to be getting anything decent. So I'll pass on that. Um, 15k packs, I don't know what's going on. Uh, EA are trolling us a lot, so I can't actually go ahead and open them. Right midfield Lamela. You know what? I'd love to use him, but I just can't because it's as simple as that. He's a box of memory player. Gulavogu. That's just the worst pronunciation ever, but... But, I might go ahead and use him, because he could make the team pretty interesting, actually. Pretty interesting indeed. I already have him in my club, so I'm going to open a couple more packs. But, um, yeah, I'm going to see. I could potentially use him. The only problem is he's the same nation, and I kind of wanted to, you know, move out and, and not use a card from the same nation or league or whatever, which is why I'm not using La Mela. So, yeah, we're going to open a couple more packs and see if we can chance of luck and get anything Decent, let's see what we get, come on. Wow, I keep getting Parker today. I don't know why. It's ridiculous, I don't, yeah, I literally don't know what's going on. Right, come on, Alaba, so please want me to sound decent. Skipping this pack, Crouch, really? Another Rockets Premier League player. Do you know what, in a minute, I'm just gonna go into my club and like, randomly select an inform. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like that. A bit of a change of how we find our player, that could be pretty cool. Um, Tonev, mate, where are these players? Where actually are these players? I don't know. Harry Kane, surely bring me something decent. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're going to use one of these. We're going to use uh, Marchetti. Okay? It's done. We're going to see if he is going to be a decent player. Now, I know Lazio actually have a good couple, a couple of decent centre-backs, so uh, that's always an option for us. So, let's go ahead and put him into the team. Let's change the nationality to Italy. And there we go, Marchetti is there. So, I've got a load of formations here. I haven't taken out the ones without wingers, so bear it, bear with me if we do actually get one without a winger. Uh, they're basically all here. I'm not lying, I'm not cheating. I'm randomly going to pick one. Look, I'm actually going to have them in my hand now. Close my eyes. Whatever, we'll use this one here. Uh, that's the 4 2 so we can't actually use that. I did actually pick up another two. Okay, so the 4 one, two, one, two is there. You can't really see it, but you've got to trust me. Um, so there we go. The 4 one, two, one, 2 normal variation. Whether Marshall is going to play well there is a, sec is a different matter, but hopefully you can get forward enough to kind of cause a few problems. That's my, that's my thinking behind it. Um, so, we may as well get this timer started, and I'm going to try and, I'm going to take out an obvious player, okay, for me not to use. So, I'm going to wipe out using Rooney, okay? Uh, I know usually the other player actually shotguns the player for me, but to make this difficult, I'm going to say Rooney right now. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's literally start the seven minutes and then I can start um, getting this team built and hopefully we can do it pretty quick as well. This could be a fast seven minute squad builder. I do have a couple of ideas. So, 
The timer is going to start in 3, 2, 1. There we go. Seven minutes has started on the clock. So let's go, have, go and have a quick look at the players which we can potentially use um, in our squad. So I'm thinking, right, we can just do this from the squad screen, can't I? I took out the rule of adding all the players to the transfer targets. So let's go. Um, I know basically in the Serie A they've got a Dutch, or well, Lazio have a Dutch centre back. I'm pretty sure anyway. Right, let's just change Dutch and just search Lazio centre backs overall. So they have Maurizio, they have got that guy, uh, and then again Saletti. Obviously, I'm going to go with this guy. Uh, he looks like the best out of the three, out of the four by a mile, so it's kind of a no-brainer. Now, this is gonna be a great opportunity for me to go ahead and put in my favorite left back in the game. You guys know what it is. I think you know what it is, anyway. Uh, it's gonna be Van Aanholt. Yes, I absolutely love Van Aanholt. Um, so, yeah, I think I might actually have his in form. I'm gonna check now. Uh, let me check my club, search my club. Let's see, yes, I do have his in form, so. Happy days, really. I don't know why it didn't put him in there already, but yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, we've got his in, his in form in there now. This team is already looking pretty cool. Uh, so we've got five minutes and 35 seconds on the clock left. Now, a very, very easy option for me to go with is quite simply going ahead and getting Daily Blind for this CDM spot. Um, now, let's just go Dutch. Um, is he a CDM? He is. Now, I don't know if he's going to be that good there, though. That's the thing. He's got a high defensive work rate. He's 5 foot 11. I've personally never used him on this game, so I'm going to give him a go, okay? He could be terrible. He could be really good. We're going to find out sooner or later. Um, so, yeah, here we go. May as well try it. May as well give it a go. So, De Vries doesn't need any more chem. Daily Blin needs another strong link or two normal links. Uh, Martial needs one normal link. I don't want to go ahead and get another box Premier League player in this team linking to Marshall because we can kind of dive off into a different league with this. Um, so I'm thinking, where can we go? We're going to have a little look and check out some French centre attacking mids. Let's go concept players and see who there is. So Inform Valbuena is not a bad shout. Ben Arthur Inform is not a bad shout. That definitely is not a bad shout. Um, or we can check out... Uh, French striker instead to link with Martial. You never know what could we do. Could get inform Lacazette. We could get inform Lacazette. I mean, I would be down for that quite a bit. So, right, let's go and check that out. Let's see if that is going to be possible. Search on the transfer market. How much is he worth? 165k we can pick him up for. Uh, well, 158k actually. Do you know what? Um, I'm going to give it a go. Why not? We're going to go ahead and build a team with the inform Lacazette. Why not? Let's give it a go. And that means, really, I can now go ahead and pick up... Where is he? The centre attacking mid. Uh, I want to use Ben Arthur because I love doing skills in this game. Um, so let's see if we have him in the club. Oh, we have Valbuena. I mean, that would provide us with a perfect link. That is one thing that we could go ahead and think about. Um, so, potentially, yeah, we only need like, uh, it's a little bit dodgy, that's the only thing. <laughs> that is the only thing. I'm thinking we could have got Robin on that right midfield, but I don't know now. I don't really know. Um, I mean, Robin, let's just put him in concept and see kind of what we could do with it. Because potentially I would actually really like to use him because I don't think I've used him that much. Um, so here we go. Robin's in the team. Now, what would I need to do? There's no... Ah. Coleman. Coleman. I can go ahead and use Coleman, can't I? Right, let me think about this. Is that going to be worth... Is that going to work? French striker, Coleman. It is. I don't want to use my desk. I want to use Coleman. Right, there we go. Boom. That's done. Um, that should be sick. I'm not going to lie. That should be a really sick team. Right, let's go ahead and buy Robben. Uh, he's, he's so cheap now. 140k for, for I am Robben. That is actually ridiculous. Uh, okay, we'll pick up this one for 145k. Why not? Let's put him in the team. 
lovely stuff. Happy days now. Is Val Valbuena on full chem? Yes, yeah, so we're not going to get Ben Arthur. We're going to stay with Valbuena because we need that perfect league with Lacazette. So, we've actually got four leagues in here already. Can we make it five? Now, can we make it five? I think we can, you know. I actually think we can. So, let's go ahead and do this. Um... Ooh, it's going to be tough though, isn't it? We're going to need a Dutch centre-back, really. And then a Dutch right-back. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to need. It's going to be really quite hard, actually, to make this a... Uh, hmm. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what there is available. Okay, so... Actually, I do have some legends in here, don't I? What legends do I have? I'm surprised. I swear I have a record in my club. I do have a Rickard in my club. Alright, we'll roll with that. I don't care. We've got Rickard now. That's pretty decent though, isn't it, really? That's pretty decent. And then that means we can go ahead and buy any Bundesliga right back we want. Uh, now I have a load in my club, so probably Peace Check is going to be the one that I'll go for. Um, or Opare, I mean... I want one to mix it up. Nah, I'm going to go with Peace Check, because I always kind of go with the outside one sometimes, and you guys... Always wanted to go with like the high rated one. So there we go. That is the team done. 85 rated. Every single player, as you can see, is on full chemistry. Uh, nine chem minimum. Obviously, Anthony Martial is going to need a left midfield, left wing to left midfield card. I think I have one in my club. No, I do not. But that is um, a very, very nice team. I really am quite happy with that. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the look of that team. Probably one of the best teams I've built in a while. Now, I could have, yeah, I could have tried to make it um, five leagues and gone down the Dutch route and got like a Dutch centre back and then a Dutch right back. But think about how many Dutch players that would have been in there. That would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, six Dutch players. I can't have that, you know what I mean? So um, there's the timer. I've got five in there at the moment, but it's more about making the team a little bit. I, d I don't know. Let me know if you think that's a cool hybrid. I mean, there's quite a few. French and Dutch players in there, but overall, I'm happy with it, to be honest. I am happy with it. Um, it's something different, and it looks a lot of fun to play with. So, let's go ahead and move into a game. Online seasons, as we know and love. Let's do this, and right now, I can go ahead and start answering questions as well. Let me just check if everyone has full fitness. No, they don't. So, let's just quickly apply a squad training to them, and then we can start going through some of these questions. There is an absolute load. There's an absolute load. Um, okay, right. Let's go ahead and search for a game. Right. First question then. Here we go. Um, who do you think will win the Ballon d'Or? Who do I... Uh, Messi. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be Messi. Um, and apparently EA already like released it or something. Or UEFA already released the, the winner of it. And apparently it was Messi. So, you know what? I mean, I can only... I personally think it will be Messi. Yeah, I'm going to go with Messi. Uh, why is that opponent left? Why? I don't know. It annoys me when people just go into a game and, and leave. Um, so, right. Next question then. Uh, what's your favourite FIFA? Um, probably FIFA 10. I think it was the one with the man of the match, Drogba. I basically packed him. It was 90 rated, sold for a million coins. I was absolutely balling back then. That's probably about worth about... In comparison, about 10 million, 10 million coins. Um, in comparison to now, obviously because of because of a lot of pe lot less people um, played the game back then. So yes, yeah, like players were worth more, etc. It's hard to explain, but yeah, that was the case. Come on, come on, press X. Yeah, there we go. Um, now let's go ahead and quickly check this guy's team before I start answering some more questions. So 82 rated team. He's got informing Signe, inform Manzukic, Quadrado. Pogba, Nainggolan, Guarin, Chiellini. Yeah, this guy's got a flipping sick team, I'm not going to lie. Uh, almost an all Juventus team. Um, he's also got Manolas, who has a lot of pace at the back. So that could cause me quite a few problems. Uh, but we're going to stick at it. Hopefully we can go ahead and grab the win. Let me go ahead and get a, um, get a question. So... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Oh, okay, this is a decent one, I think. Um, who do you think Liverpool will sign in winter to cover the injuries? Now, there's been a lot of a lot of talk about Rana Ranachia, I think it is. Uh, Ranachia, I don't really know how you pronounce his name, but yeah, that's that's the uh, <laughs> that's 
how I'm going to pronounce it. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, please, because I do actually take on board your guys' advice when you actually spell out how to pronounce stuff. It does help me a lot. It feels like I'm back at school, but it helps me a lot, and I appreciate it because it helps me, uh, obviously, almost like not bring you better content, but be able to just explain things a little bit better um, for you guys. So, yeah, who do I think they'll sign? We need another centre back. Um, to be honest, we kind of do need. We could do with a striker. I know. Yes, I know. We've got Origi. We've got Ben Teke, but we can't. I don't think we can even call Sturridge an option. Sometimes I, I absolutely love him. I I just wish I think with storage fit 24/7 top four is a no-brainer with Liverpool, and that's not me being biased. I just think that's genuinely the truth. I I seriously think if Liverpool had storage, top four would be like much easier than what it is without him. It's as simple as that. Top, storage is a world-class striker on his day. It's as simple as that, um, and he has proved it. So. It's just he's it, 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 stuck by injuries massively, and I, I can't even imagine how frustrating it must be for him. But yeah, I think a striker. Um, do you know what? A defender, a midfielder, and a flipping a striker. It's <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like we need them because even though when all the players are back fit, right then, like after that, there could be oh my god, really, Martial. Right then, you're thinking, oh, well, what happens when them players become fit? Well, there will be other players that are injured uh, and that can't play. So, you've got to think of it that way. Um, I don't think you can ever have really that too many players. Um, I suppose you can, but you guys get, you guys know what I mean, though. Like, there's always going to be injured players. You're very, very lucky if you go a season without an injured player. So, what a ball that is. Martial with a bad touch. <sighs> that was such a good ball as well. Such a good ball. Oh dear, Quadrado, Quadrado. I don't like going against Quadrado because of his skills. I'm not, I'm, I'm not that great with uh, dealing with skills. Come on, come on, Blin. <laughs> he's got. Oh, he, okay. He got the ball off Pogba for a time, and then oh, there we go. Okay, he's done well. Can we play it for a Robin now? And that's Coman. Okay, would have thought Robin would have been uh, there, but here we go. Right. Why would that not be played to Robin? I don't understand that, and now he's thrown goal. Lovely stuff. Um, so yeah, I've yeah, a defender, midfielder, and a striker. We literally need all of them uh, right now. <laughs> Coutinho's injured. Coutinho's injured. Lovren's injured now. Uh, Sturridge is out. I think he's going to be back soon. I think he's ready to come back, but two weeks later, two weeks in two weeks' time, he'll probably be injured again. Reality. Um, you can't hide away from it, and unfortunately, a lot of the time, Liverpool have so. Um, the next question is, what's your favourite part of being a YouTuber? The interaction with you guys, it's amazing, like, it means the world when I see positive comments on my videos, uh, and, yeah, that show, you guys showing that you've enjoyed them, and, you know, it's just, I'm very, very, very lucky to be doing YouTube as a job, um, because I did take a chance a couple of years ago with starting it full time. And it's paid off, you know. I put in the hours, I put in the work, I tried to do as much as I could um, to entertain you guys. And it's 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 you know it's turned into this with half a million subscribers. So yeah, I, you know it means the world. And um, yeah, it's just <laughs> that's the best part of being a YouTuber, just the interaction with you guys, etc., uh, etc. Et so. Next question. I'm going to be able to read it as soon as I get the ball, I think. Right, here we go. Let's try and read a uh, question. Da, da, da. Okay, how long on average during the day do you spend editing videos? What a little uh, <laughs> piece of play there by Van Arnholt. Oh my god, I um, think he could have just got a red card then. How often, do, how, how much time in the day do I spend editing my videos? So, I'm. I'm not going to lie, I'm fairly lucky. Compared to some other YouTubers, I don't spend as much time editing my videos because most of the time, um, they're videos which I know how to edit, like, pretty, wow, okay, I'll take my hat off then. I'll take my hat off for him. Who is that? Nine Golan? Fair enough, what a goal. So, basically, before I even started YouTube, I could edit. So... I kind of find editing pretty simple, to be honest. 
very simple. So I can edit a video maybe in like an hour, maybe in half an hour sometimes. It kind of all depends whether I'm editing whilst playing COD or whatever, or whether I'm editing like and actually you know, you know I need to get this done as soon as possible so I can upload a few guys. Um, but yeah, a lot of the time I can. I, it, obviously, it depends on what video, but a lot of the time I know what I'm doing. I know how, like, how I want to edit it, etc. Uh, and it's it's fairly simple for me. Obviously, it takes time, but yeah, that's the reality. I spend more time recording, rendering, uh, putting files onto the computer, finding music maybe for my videos, uh, and all that other stuff. Recording takes up a lot of time, a lot of time. Uh, and then you have the finished product, and then you have to upload it, obviously. So there is a lot of stuff that you need to do. Um, go on, this is going to be a goal, isn't it? Oh, get it in! Lacazette! Boom! There we go, 1-1. One, one. I was hoping that was going to go in with Robin's shot. Uh, <laughs> damn it. And also planning videos. Planning videos takes a lot of time. There's a lot behind everything. Like, um, I know like sending a tweet isn't like that like time consuming it can take like a second or something I know obviously it's a click of a button but like keeping up with you guys on social media I see that still as part of my job even though it doesn't feel like a job it is part of my job because if I was in like if YouTube was actually a job that you could sign up for etc then that would be part of the job do you know what I mean so um, I try to look at my job as um, as least like a job as possible but at the same time it is a job, so certain aspects do have to be seen and um, you know treated as a job kind of thing. So hopefully you guys understand. I'm probably blabbering on quite a bit, uh, but yeah, that's the only really way that I can describe it. What would you do if you hit a million subscribers? Celebrate loads. I'd be over the moon. I'd be absolutely buzzing if I hit one million subscribers. Um, do you know what? There's the, the potential is there for next year. What am I doing? What am I doing? Basically, during 2015, I managed to gain 375,000 subscribers. Now, if I can better that a little bit more every single month, so maybe like instead of 20,000 subscribers in a month, getting like like 35,000 subscribers in a month, instead of getting 35,000 subscribers in a month, getting 45,000. All the little, all the amounts do add up over the year, and potentially it could be on the cards. I'm, I'm not saying I will. But it would be an absolutely amazing achievement, and I would just be forever thankful. I can't actually, yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't even know what I'd do if I saw that one million subscriber plaque on my wall. Um, yeah, honestly, I, yeah, it's it's just absolutely nuts thinking about it. Um, so, next question: Who do you think will win the championship? Right. Well, three weeks ago, I would have said Brighton, um, but recently they've had like, I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know what's going on with them. They can't defend. Um, they need it. It's yeah. It's a it's a nightmare. But there's there's quite it's, it's very open. It's like the Premier League at the moment. There's a few. There's quite there's like three or four teams at the top, all kind of mix and matching every single week. Um, so it's well open. I'm still going to stick with Brighton. I know that might be. I know they might have like almost thrown their chance. A little bit already, like at the moment. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh my days. I am Robin. That is absolutely beautiful. What a goal. What a goal that is. <laughs> Jesus. Very nice indeed. Look at this ball as well. Gets it first time touch and bang. Round the keeper, top left hand corner. Call as you like. So yeah, I'm going to say Brighton um, to win the championship. Or to get promoted at least. I'm hoping they get promoted. Um, right, okay, come on. Let's go. Ooh. Play it, play it, play it. Here we go, Coman. I think it was Coman that actually assisted for Ben. Um, maybe, maybe Lacazette would have been good in the middle. I mean, Martial would have been good in the middle. Oh, it's going to be a goal. No, it's not. Come on, head it down. Blind. Yes, he's actually done all right. What is he doing here? Oh, he's done well. He's done well, Iron Robin. He's done very well. Go on. Get there again. Nah. That Buener against like any defender is just like laughable. <laughs> the contest. He's like five foot four or some shit. I don't know. He's very small though, isn't he? Um, and on FIFA, it's just there's only one winner. Anyway, um, how long have you been doing YouTube? I started in June 2000 or July. Yeah, July 2011. Quite a long time. 
And there's other YouTubers out there which have been doing YouTube for half my time and they've maybe doubled my subscribers. But, to be honest, I have made a lot of decisions during my time on YouTube which have affected my growth and stuff like that. And obviously you learn from them, but for example, there was a stage, there was a trend on YouTube, that's a goal, a great goal to be fair. There was a trend on YouTube where it would be like pack reactions and these, these like, like squad builders where it'd be like, maybe like a team of cars or something. I did, I actually did that once um, and stuff like that. And mine, my, my like main quality was being able to build hybrids and you know, I still do it to this day. That's my quality, that's, that's kind of like my bread and butter, that's what I know what to do. And for me to open loads of packs and, you know, react crazily to it and stuff like that, uh, that's not me, do you know what I mean? Like, you saw it when I opened two, when I got Ronaldo in an hour. I didn't, I didn't react that crazy. I didn't like, react at all. Like, it's like someone just packed, like, maybe, like, Buffon or some shit. Like, I don't really react that much, but that's not to say it wasn't real, do you know what I mean? Like, I could have... I'm not like sletting anybody, I'm not saying their reactions aren't real, it's just that's me and I chose not to go down the route of like pink slips and these crazy reaction pink slips, oh dear me, there we go. And that cost my channel a lot and during that time I still uploaded on the squad builders and seven minute squad builders and yeah it kind of cost me during that year um, my growth on YouTube but I wouldn't change it for a thing because I'm not gonna, yeah. I, like it would have changed me as a person and I would have almost had like a different persona on YouTube in my videos so I'm glad I didn't do it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying, I'm not firing shots at all, I'm not saying other YouTubers did it because a lot of other YouTubers, I like I like that, they, you know, their channel is built on these crazy reactions etc etc and they do absolutely amazing for it so fair play to them, it's just, I, I'm not that per I'm not that kind of person, do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm gonna stick to my guns and what I know and and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe it, it wasn't a wise decision because you should always try to adapt to the trends which are going on YouTube. But at the end of the day, uh, if I'm gonna be uploading these things where I don't feel comfortable doing it or etc., then you know I will happily prefer to not do it. As simple as that. Anyway, you guys get the idea. Um, I need to get back into this game, and me waffling on isn't actually helping much at all. Come on. Oh God, that's going to be a goal. Do you know what, Marchetti's pulled off some amazing saves, but a lot of the time he could have actually held them. Um, right, next question. How many points How many coins, points or coins do you spend daily on FIFA? Okay, so maybe every other day go through 12,000. Nah, um, it depends what video I'm uploading. If I'm doing a 7-minute squad, but I only needed FIFA points for a couple of packs or coins for a couple of packs. I need my coins really for the squad building part. Um, but if I'm doing like a FIFA bingo with Tom, then I'll need 12,000 FIFA points uh, for each episode um, and stuff like that. It's more when there's sick players in packs and you go ahead and open as many packs as you possibly can to try and get some sick, sick players. But I do that for you guys so that I have some good packs to show you guys, etc. Um, YouTubers do open a lot of packs and yeah, it's, we don't get given them. Trust me, we don't. So basically a cut out there, but there we go. Um, yeah, we don't get given them, given these packs or whatever. Uh, maybe unless you're friendly with EA, but I'm definitely not. Well, they've never banned me or anything, but um, yeah. I don't know. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Ah, oh, no. Come on. No, I don't believe any YouTuber gets given a pack, whether they're friendly with EA or not. Um, it's just, yeah, there's been, like, loads of you guys think that as well. Like, I don't know, like, it could happen, but I really don't think it would have, would happen, where YouTubers get players put in their packs and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Let me know in the comment section below if you think. I really don't think so. But that's just my opinion. Um, right, come on. Play the ball, Quadrado. What is he doing tackling Martial? Why? Just leave him alone. Here we go. There we go, there's the ball, there's the ball. Mate, I can't actually score. Here we go, we've got to go all out now, haven't we? We've got to go all out. Please, Jack, please, please, please win this match. I know I've only got six minutes left, but there is a chance. Oh, mate, what is going on here? Go on. 
Go on. Oh, trying to get past Alexandro. It's like a brick wall. Here you go. Here you go. That's a free kick. Right. I am Robin can get on this. Can he score a late, a last minute, unreal free kick? You never know. He actually could from there. He actually could. This is going in, lads. <gasps> oh my days, that was so close. I'm going all out attack. We've got to we've got to get, get at least a draw from this. I do not deserve to lose. I do not deserve to lose. Please, please, please. Please. Get this goal. One, two. Here we go. There we go. Out wide. Back in the middle. No. Oh! Go on! Valbuena! Oh, he smashed it up in the air. What has he done? He's left it to Robin. Can he smash that? Oh my days, man. Robin, you've got to be doing better than that. Got to be doing better. I think that's the last chance, isn't it? This is going to go. Go to this team. Come on. <gasps> Get there. No. No. What is he doing, Coleman? Why do you have to waste time as well? That's it. I knew it. I knew it, man. Absolutely knew it. I, I literally can't buy a win at the moment. I'm, it's a nightmare. Since the new patch, to be fair, I haven't really played much FIFA over Christmas as well. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Um, I'm sorry I lost, but hopefully you guys get a good gist of that team. I really liked it, and it's a bit of a shame that Marshall was 5.9 rating, the lowest rating in the team, when we that's how Marky played. So, I don't know. Uh, he's He actually felt all right. He did lose the ball a couple of times. He did feel quite weak, like I said before. I can't really see that much of an improvement from his normal card, well, from his normal card and his first in form, but that's for you guys to judge when you use him. Build this team, though. All four of you, build, you guys build this team. It's a lot of fun. You can switch Ricard with, like, a Dutch centre-back from the Eredivisie, or even a, um... You can even, yeah, yeah, a Dutch centre-back from the Eredivisie, or a Barclays Premier League centre-back, and then get a, uh, another Dutch right-back. You know, you can do whatever you want, really. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you're new around here, remember to subscribe. That'd be absolutely amazing. And tomorrow, I have got, I think I've got a video of Andy going on. AJ Free FIFA. So if you want to check that out, link down below to my channel. Well, you guys can just subscribe and you'll get notified tomorrow. Or if you're watching this after Friday, then it will be already up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.